was great in Abia State. We experienced marvelous visitation of God, great miracles, and deliverances. My name is Chineji Lucy. God did something I, I don't know how to express. As every woman would expect to have a baby after, after marriage, in fact, God did mine. I was very happy that I conceived immediately after marriage. So on the 37th week of my pregnancy, they said the baby is gone. From the report of the ultrasound, the scan that was done showed that the baby in the womb had died. It's, it's, it's quite... I'm out. Let's thank God for bringing us together again for the Bible study of tonight. God. upon each and every life here father may your name be glorified in jesus name as we sing unto you lord we pray that you be glorified this evening in jesus name in jesus mighty name we we'll preach thou art worthy thou art worthy o lord to receive glory honor and power for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and we are created thou art worthy lord worthy o lord Thou art worthy, Lord, worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy God must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be honored in our lives every day. Hallelujah. God must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be honored in our lives every day. He must be. God must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be honored in our lives every day. Hallelujah. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord, how excellent. How marvelous. How wonderful. Oh yes. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord. Oh How wonderful is your name, O oh Lord. How wonderful is your name, O oh Lord. How wonderful is your name. How wonderful is your name. How wonderful is your name.
is your name. Oh Lord, how wonderful is your name. How wonderful is your name. How wonderful is your name. Oh Lord, how wonderful. How wonderful. Wonderful, very wonderful. Oh Lord, I'm a new creature, I'm a brand new man. Oh, things have passed away. I'm born again, more than a conqueror. That's who I am. I'm a new creature. I'm a brand new man. I'm a brand new man. I'm a brand new man. We have passed. I am born again. Oh yes, that's who I am. Oh hallelujah, he redeemed me. I am born again to win. I thank God he justified me. All this fullness have we all received of him. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand, I'm a brand new man. They have passed. I am born again. More than a conqueror. That's who I am. Peace, purity, power, peace, purity, power, mine, mine in the Lord, mine, mine in the Lord, peace, purity, power, peace, purity, power, they are mine, mine in the Lord, mine, mine in the Lord. In the Lord, in the Lord. My mind in the Lord. My mind in the Lord. Peace, purity. Power, be spirit, power, they're mine, mine in the Lord. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful to know. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful. To know, to know, my Jesus died for, how wonderful. Hallelujah. It is wonderful. That Jesus died for me, wonderful to know. He never disappoints me one day. He never disappoints me one day. Since I joined 
the army of the Lord. He never disappoints me one day. He will never. He has never. Since I joined the army, Amen. For our patience and then for always surrender to the will of the Lord. As I said, I know God is going to permanent everything in our life in Jesus' name. As we are listening to the GS, there was something happened. Brother Demetric lost his sister. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So. It is well. It is well. We will continue to pray for the family. We pray that Almighty God will console them in Jesus' name. If there is anything, let us know. Uh, is it in, uh, in Philadelphia? And God I said, I'm living in Ohio. <coughs> when? After this month. Okay, so you are coming by when? Yeah. Okay, please let me know. So, all of us, okay, okay. That will be good. I know Mr. John, we can talk to Mr. John to if we are possible. If you can make it for the funeral, although we have one assignment on Wednesday. So I want to appreciate everyone of us. Uh, we will continue to pay for Bradimentary family. God will be with them. The grace of the Lord will be upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I often say that I want somebody to open the book of Genesis, chapter 28. The book of Genesis, chapter 28. The book of Genesis, chapter 28. Anybody that says it can read for us from verse 20 to 22. From verse 20 to 22. Read for us. Praise the Lord. We can see how Jacob fell. That's how we believer we need to uh, I don't want to use the word foul within us and God because if you foul if you cannot fulfill it, it is not the best. But let us make sure that it is uh, our obligation to pay one tenth of our income to Almighty God. I need ten percent, ten percent of your time, ten percent of what God has given to you. I don't know how many people, how many of us are doing it. As I told you, us the God has been helping the church. I don't want to say we don't need your money so that we be not like a pride. But it is obligation that I need to teach you that you need to be doing. So when you have your income, make sure 10% of it come to church. One thing I want you to know, whatever the 90% of your ENA cannot do, 10% cannot do it. So learn how to give to the Lord and God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate our brother, Brother David, and then the sister Lisa 
for how they always the little little they buy for the church for the people inside the car is so appreciated it let the church be lively and i want to appreciate uh uh brad james anytime we call on him that we need assistance from driving he has never regretted i want to appreciate uh, uh my dear brother sabi Although she doesn't, he doesn't want to be coming to church on except he has me to pay. So please, I want you to change that mood. All don't play with the church as you as you always do. Don't play with the church. Not until you have something to do, you come to the church. God will help you in Jesus' name. Sister, I uh, appreciate you, but the metric I appreciate every one of you for all your devotion to the church, and you can see that the church is growing. And if we don't stop, the church will continue to grow, and Almighty God is going to help us in Jesus' name. So let us bring our tithe and offering. You close your eyes. You close your eyes. You don't need to look at people who bring tithe and offering. It is for you to know that you bring your own tithe and offering. Don't bother about people who does not bring. God will touch their hearts. If you bring it, you are faithful to the Lord. So if you don't bring it, you know it is you are, uh, it is between you and God. And I'm just teaching all so that our mind, the Bible let us know where your treasure is. That's why your heart will be. That's why I'm teaching all so that uh, we can be committed to give our time, to give whatever we have to Almighty God. Let us raise our tithe and offering. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, out of what you are giving to us, we bring this token. Father, let it be acceptable before you in jesus name father you accepted the the sacrifice of abel let our sacrifice be accepted in jesus name for those people who does not know how to give father you will touch their hearts and teach them how to how to give in jesus name to uh, by the power and the blood of jesus all oh, the devourer something that does not even benefit the body Almighty Father, that we are using money to do, we learn how to use it to grow your kingdom in Jesus' name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your name is going to be glorified. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Put your offering into the bag. Do not look at anybody that does not give. Look at yourself that you have not given or you are given. Live for everybody for Almighty God. Almighty God know how to reward everything we are doing. And He will reward us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Let's open our eyes. We will continue our evangelism. Do not forget, this is what we are doing is the evangelism. And then we will continue it in Jesus' name. Uh, you give everybody two two. Don't say you don't want. And then they are, we are doing something now. We leave our program on the chair. Please, I use time, money to print them. Take your program home. Go and be praying on, on it. The oh, deeper library church of Charlotte Free. Father, let it grow. Let it grow. And if anybody asks you, what are you doing in your church? You will be able to show it to them. That this is what we are doing in our church. God will help you. Do not forget, you have a lot of places to distribute this and bill. When you go to supermarkets, when you go to the club, in Lion, in the Food Lion, Kroger, uh, Wegman, anywhere you go inside the bus. Uh, give it to them. I met uh, one man and one woman. They have been staying together for 15 years. For 15 years. And they don't have children. They don't have... Uh, they, uh, they are just staying together. And now I ask, uh, how, do you, how do you love this man like this? How did you meet he said they met inside the bus. They met inside the bus, and since then, they have been living together. What I want to say is that if people can do that, 
why can't we distribute our chart, our flyer inside the bus and everywhere we go? And do not forget to take your program, take your program along. It's not mine, it's yours. I printed them for you. And God will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. As usual, uh, Mr. James will help me to direct people on the soda. Whatever you want to take on the table, take. We have some food we warm. If you want to take them home, take them home. If you want to eat inside the car, eat them inside the car. Do not let us dirty the bus. So. Do not let us dirty the bus. So God will help us in Jesus' name. Let us share the grace together. Sister Rita, why are you not taking? Uh, okay. On the other. Uh, that's me. Do you need more? Okay, okay, okay. You see, okay. God bless you. God will reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. TT2 came yesterday. He, she did the same thing. She collected a lot. That TT. That small girl, I will show you a picture. She took a lot yesterday too, she promised. So let us rise up to share the grace together. Uh, I will call your mom to say, to send our condolences to her. Either you send the number to me, I don't know if I have it. Kindly send a number to me so that I can call her tonight to send the, for the church to say our condolences. Okay, let's rise up to share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Mr. James, help me to direct people on the Sudan. Some, anything on the table, please take. And sooner or later, you can give them the paper bag and then the nylon bag, whatsoever they want to use. There are some food we warm there. Take it. God bless you. Yes. Political leaders have been advised to consult widely and conduct research before coming to conclusion on the issue of Muslim Muslim ticket or Christian Christian ticket for the 2023 elections. Speaking with journalists in Ilori, the Kwara State Capital, after meeting with Governor Abdurrahman Abdul Razak, the General Superintendent of the Deeper Life Bible Church, Pastor William Kumui, said the presidential flag bearers should look at the heartbeats of the country and desires of the people before making their decisions. On the issue of insecurity, he said though the security agencies are doing well, they have to do more to safeguard the lives of Nigerians. The uh, political officers should look at the heartbeat of the country and they look at the desires of the people. And uh, they are not there for themselves, they are there for us. And uh, let them ask and make their research what does the country want? What do the people want? And uh, if they listen to the people at this time, we'll be confident that they'll listen to us when they get there. It's uh, difficult to preempt issues, but you know, by the grace of God, I believe that the security agents are doing their level best. We can all improve. In every area of life, there's always room for improvement. So I would say, in the security, there is a room for improvement, but I want to, you know, credit our officers and uh, those who are putting their lives on the line to secure the whole country. Okay. 
Hello, I am Shola Maik Agwola. By God's grace, I am the president of Evom World Network. I equally manage a channel on YouTube known as Evom Channel. I salute you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. A few years ago, our Father in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi, was in Ilone Kwara State to hold a crusade. By God's grace, I had the privilege of attending the crusade as well as the minister's conference. I must confess, I am yet to recover from the impact of that crusade. I have good news for us. Our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, will be in Ilone Kwara State again, this time on what is known as Global Crusade. He has held a series of this kind of crusade around cities in this nation, Nigeria. And the good news is it is our turn in Kwara State. This crusade will be holding from 23rd to 28th of June, 2022. And the venue of the crusade is Deeper Life Campground, A.M. Kori, Lori, starting at 5 p.m. daily. This is one program you cannot afford to miss because the theme is Supernatural Deliverance Through Christ. Wow, what a theme. It is not only a theme, it is actually a prophetic declaration coming from God. Oh, because God is said to do us good in Quara State, the program will have, I mean, it will feature all manner of deliverances, deliverances from sin, deliverances from sicknesses, deliverances from demonic oppressions, deliverances from backwardness, deliverances from household enemies, deliverances from all manner of causes, all kinds of deliverances because it's not going to be by the power of the man of God but by the power of the God who sent this man to us. I'm talking of our father, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. And there will be a guest music minister, Andy Rosia. You'll be leading us into the presence of God every night of the crusade. Now, I wish to add this to it because I will not want to miss it. There's going to be a ministers and professionals conference. This will be holding on 24, 27, and 28 at the same venue. It's holding from 7 a.m. This session is specially designed for everyone who is a minister in any capacity. Are you the general overseer of a church? Are you the pastor of a church? Worker in the church? Are you a missionary and itinerant minister? In any way that you serve in God's kingdom, then this program is meant for you. Not only ministers, 
professionals in any capacity in all spheres of human endeavors be there. Are you a youth in the house? Oh, congratulations. Why am I saying this? There is a special aspect of this program, specially designed for youths. It is known as Impact Academy for Youths. During this session, our Father and the Lord will be sitting down with all youths to unravel kingdom mysteries that will help every youth in their work for God, their work with God, and their life endeavors. We'll be touching all manner of uh, the different issues that have to do with the life of a youth, from academic to spiritual to marital to choice of career, just every and anything that will help us. I enjoy you to be part of this aspect of the program. You'll be wondering when will this be holding? To be holding on 25th June, just one day. But it is one day you cannot afford to miss. And that session will start at 7 a.m. The venue is still Deeper Life Campground, a young quarry. By God's grace, I look forward to being a part of the crusade because I know my life can never remain the same after the crusade. And I believe the same testimony will be your portion. Be there. Don't forget, 23 to 28 June. Again, Deeper Life Campground, a young quarry. Again, Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Shalom. Hey, my friends, teenagers, youth, call members, campus students, this is Dusio Yeko. It's so good to talk to you and then invite you for a special meeting happening this weekend, 25th of June, at the Deeper Life Campground here in Korean Lauren. Hosted by our daddy, Daddy Kumu. You don't want to miss this meeting. It's tied to the young ego Sorry, I believe you want to soar in life. Listen to me. There's a meeting that changes a man's life forever. There's a meeting that, that marks a tipping point. I strongly sense that this meeting is going to change your life forever. You don't want to miss it. Whatever you are doing this Saturday, 25th of June, find your way to the Deeper Life Campground, again calling in Lonnie. It's going to be an amazing time, a time of impartation, a time of prayer. It's one of the global crusades that our Father is doing in this city. Please make sure you are there. Make sure you are there. Make sure you get there. God bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. But upon my Zion shall be deliverance. And the house shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. That's where I'm going. You must possess your possession. Here we are on Mount Zion. And there will be deliverance. Remember, supernatural deliverance through Christ alone. And you are here before that Christ supernaturally the Lord will deliver. Open your mouth. I have come to Mount Zion. Let there be deliverance for me, for my family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. And tell God, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall be deliverance. There shall be deliverance. Pray, rise up and really pray unto God. You are ready on Mount Zion. And God is waiting for your request. God is waiting. 
for someone to cry to him or Mount Zion, waiting for deliverance, waiting for deliverance. There will be deliverance here tonight. And all over the world, everywhere in the globe, there shall be deliverance. We are all at Mount Zion. Pray as somebody who is waiting for something great. Pray as somebody who wants to pray. Of them. Let your request be made known unto him. Unto him alone shall his people come. And you are here to see God, to hear God, to be touched by him. Heaven is open. Make your request known. You need personal deliverance? Talk to God. Family deliverance? Talk to God. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. In Jesus' name we pray. And our Father and the Lord had prophesied to Quara State and to the entire world through this crusade that there will be spectacular, that there will be supernatural, uh, unprecedented participation and spectacular results. Do you believe that? Unprecedented participation and spectacular results. We want to pray. Wherever people are that should be here today, God, let them move to this place. Direct them to this place. Mobilize them to this place. Holy Spirit, move, in, move them in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Those who are coming on the way, they sing their step here. Those who are hearing our voice, far away, move them to this place. Open your mouth, pray.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to be on our feet as we worship God together. We're going to be lifting up the name of Jesus here tonight. And as we lift up the name of Jesus, something spectacular is going to happen to you. Amen. We're going to be connecting with the United Kingdom, with our brethren from the United Kingdom along the way. Lift up your hands. You worship to the Lord. It's Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shammah. You are your 
rain is coming upon you today in Jesus name. Amen. We are going to the UK now. Praise the Lord church. Hallelujah. It might be out of my history shirt but God is good all the time. And all the time. Love. Come along with us today as we worship and praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.